in this video i am going to be teaching you how to add end screen to your video with your mobile phone end screen is that youtube feature that appears in the last 2 to 20 seconds of a video adding end screen to your video can actually aid your channel optimization because it's more like you are directing them to another video that's another way of holding your audience retention you can use end screen to promote other videos maybe a playlist maybe merchandise and even external website so in this video i'm going to teach you how to do that with your mobile phone so hey so as a youtuber i'm sure you know what youtube studio is because if you own a youtube channel you have a youtube studio but instead of us to use our youtube studio app we are going to be working with our google chrome extension app to do this experiment so now i'll head over to my google chrome and type on the search bar youtube studio desktop sites so normally youtube studio is going to appear at the top do not click it because if you click it it is going to redirect you back to the youtube studio app and the option that we need for our end screen is not on the app it is on the desktop sites so what we are going to do is you are going to long press on your phone long press i mean put your thumb put your finger on the screen for a few seconds and options are going to pop up click on the option that says open a new tab when you click on it a link is going to be automatically generated Go Go down to the bottom and click on this icon when you click on the icon it is going to show you list of dashboards that you have opened in the past and you just have to click on the new channel dashboard then it will go ahead and open your channel youtube studio in a desktop format the excitement i felt when this happened it was oh my god well it is quite hard to you know move around but at least the good thing is that you can always use your two fingers to zoom zoom in and zoom out but you have to be patient when you are trying to work with this small workspace so take your time to try and navigate do not rush you're going to achieve what you wanted to achieve so moving on so you are going to navigate to the left side of the youtube studio and click on content this is going to bring us the list of all your contents now we're going to locate the particular video that you want to add end screen to and click on it it is best to click on the title of that your video it is going to bring out options click on the pencil icon when you click on it it's going to open a more in-depth view of that particular content so you can choose to you know edit your topic your description you know a whole lot of things so while doing this tutorial i noticed i didn't check the box where it says whether the content is meant for kids or not so i just went over there and ticked it let me know in the comment section if you want me to explain why that is necessary now after doing that i went back to the left hand side and clicked on the third icon which is called video editor so it's going to bring out features i'm just going to locate end screen you can choose to use a template which is already made available or you can customize yours by yourself so these are basically how it is going to be appearing on your screen during the last seconds of your video you might be merging your subscribe button then another video or your subscribe button then a playlist or maybe a link to your social media even if you have a link to a course that you want people to buy you can add it there on your end screen with that said let's customize our end screen because i don't want to use templates so now when i click on end screen it's going to give me options and i'm going to click on subscribe this means that my profile picture is going to be showing at the end of the video and when people click on it they can subscribe to my channel so there is a frame at the right hand side that shows how it is going to look on your video so i'm just going to use my finger to adjust the subscribe icon to be wherever i want it to be after i am satisfied with the position it is at i'm going to go back and click on element and add video it is going to give me options where i can check if i want a recent video that i did to be uploaded or if i want a youtube recommendation or i want like a specific youtube video you can go ahead and click on the one that best suits your interests 
for me i use the option where i can choose like a specific video of my choice my whole gallery content came up and i just went ahead to choose the video that i want you can add extra one video if you want and you can add a playlist as well when you are arranging them with your finger on the frame just be sure that they are separated from each other because if they touch each other it's not going to work just make sure it is showing blue line when you are done positioning and you are sure this is what you want you can click on save and it's going to apply to your video and that is all make sure to subscribe to my channel my name is favor matthew and thank you for watching see you in my next content bye